I'm now going to take the back cover off of this unit so I can separate it into two halves in order to get to the cassette mechanism. I think this unit has bad belts. I figured out there were a total of eight screws that need to be taken out with a Phillips head. There's one, there's two, three, four, and on the other side, it's basically, there's also four more. One, two, three, four, and one of the screws is missing, which is always a bad sign. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the unit, hit the eject button. A lot of times that has to be done so you can separate the um, cabinet pieces. Now I'm going to carefully separate the, take the back cover off and then see if I have any kind of wiring hooked up. Still stuck a little bit. Might be the screws. So now I'm in the process of removing the back cabinet after I got the screws out. And as you can see the antennas are right here so there should be some kind of um, wiring back there but oddly enough I don't feel any kind of resistance let me look down into the unit nope I mean somebody's been into the unit before okay these units here they should be excuse me these connectors here they should be attached to the circuit boards but they are not so I'm gonna have to once I put it back together I'm gonna have to figure out where they where they go there's one two three I can tell so three actually there's another one here a blue one four this connector has to come out And then there's another one up on the right. Of course, I had to bend this tab too because I removed the connector, but the, the wire is still going to be hung up on a tab, which I think is this here. Let me bend down this tab. Or open. So. And here you can see me pulling the unit apart. I'm just grasping it on both sides. And that's basically it. Now I can get to the cassette mechanism.